I'll rewind it. Yeah. Hey, I'm glad Vera went out. Oh, that bad language is only allowed to swear in this house. Yeah, I'm glad she went out. It's nice to be on our own, isn't it? Yeah, great. <laughs> you naughty, naughty dog. Do you know where I found this dog of yours? What, she escaped? She was on my bed. I got worried then. I thought she'd escaped. You're missing the point. She should not be on a person's bed. It's unhealthy. Why? What could she get? Not unhealthy for the dog. For me, it's totally unhygienic. Oh, she's very clean, Mr. Cole. Yes, so am I. And I intend to stay that way. I shall have to strip that bed completely. Well, she must like you, else she won't get on your bed. Must be your smell. I, I, I don't have a smell. No, well, we can't smell you. But dogs, you say, they can detect things we can't. There's nothing to detect, not in my case. <laughs> All right. Well, anyway, best be off and suppose to her own. I'll walk you home. Oh, come on, a bus stop's only just round the corner anyway. You've got to be up for work in the morning. Yeah, well, I like to walk, and so does Monica. <sighs> I don't know. Young people these days. At your age, I was always in bed by this time. Yeah. There's a lot of hanky-panky in them days, I believe. <laughs> See ya. Mm. You know when we was walking through the park uh, and we stopped and leaned against that tree? Uh, and, you know... We had a little snog. Yeah. <laughs> Did you know it's anything? Yeah, your nose went all red. No, I meant Monica. She didn't bark or scratch or try to break us up or anything. Are you right? Then ask his Brodie's with us. So? So, should we feel left out? Go on, try it. Here, stop that necking. Here, Steve. Snogging on street corners. What do you think the settee's for at home? 